If you have duck feet and have already tried fixing it with little to no success, then there's a good chance you didn't solve at least one of these three problems. Adam here from trainmassage.com. And the first problem that most people don't even consider, which I believe is the main reason for your duck feet, and that is going to be a tight myofascial system. Your myofascial system is a combination between your muscles and your fascia system. And if the fascia system that wraps around your legs and your feet get tight, then it can lead to you having duck feet. And the reason why is because these giant fascia lines can also act like muscles, meaning they can create tension and contract, which means these giant lines that also contain smaller muscles if they end up getting shorn and tight, that's how you end up getting your duck feet getting pulled out as opposed to keeping them neutral. Take a look at this first fascia line, which is called the lateral line. Here you can see that there are multiple muscles inside this one line that can create duck feet all on their own. For example, you have the fibularis, which if it gets shorn and tight, then it can actually create duck feet by pulling your ankles outward. Or you have the tensor fascia latte, the TFL, which again, if this one gets shorn and tight, it can actually create buckling in the knees, which then forces your feet to go outward in order to create a counterbalance and help you stand up. But that's not the only fascia line that wraps around the legs because you also have the spiral line. And just like the lateral line, if these muscles get tight, specifically on one side of this spiral line, then it can actually end up creating some kind of duck feet and pulling the legs out or making the knees buckle in. It's these fascia lines and the muscles inside of them that's most likely creating your duck feet in the first place and it's what you need to address first if you want to get rid of your duck feet fast. And the best way to work on these fascia lines is going to be to massage out the muscles within the lines themselves. So for example you would want to massage or self-massage the fibularis, the lateral calf muscle, or even the TFL in order to help them loosen that tension and prevent them from pulling your feet outward. By massaging out just a few muscles, mainly the ones in the legs and the feet, then hopefully the rest of these lateral lines and spiral lines can also loosen up as well. That's the beauty of the fascia line. Now there's a good chance if you already did try fixing your duck feet in the past, then you probably start off with trying to strengthen the weaker muscles like the glutes for example. And I want to be clear here that this isn't the wrong answer, it's just doing it first is wrong because you got to get rid of that tension first that's pulling your duck feet out. Once you get rid of that tension, then you can focus on strengthening all of those weaker muscles, the lengthened muscles, in order to help your feet go back to neutral and stay that way. If you're still not sure what I mean, think of it like this. When you have two teams pulling on tug of war, the whole point is to get that center flag closer to your side. Well, if we have that center flag be our foot and the direction it gets pulled is the direction it is going to point, you kind of see how the shorter side, the side that gets pulled harder, maybe in this situation, the side that gets pulled more often, that is going to be the side that the feet are going to want to point. That's why you got to loosen that side first. And then you have to strengthen the other side to pull it back to neutral. So far, I've covered two different problems you're going to need to address if you want to fix your duck feet fast. With the first one being to massage out the muscles and the fascia lines that's creating your duck feet. And then to strengthen the weaker muscles in order to keep your feet in a more neutral position. Which now brings me to the third problem you're most likely not addressing and that is going to be your day-to-day -day lifestyle. You see, most of the things you do on a day-to-day -day basis will affect your duck feet in one way or another. Whether it's sitting down with your knees pulled in, which can create a imbalance of having an internal rotation in the knees, which makes the feet want to point out. Or it can be something like walking every day with your feet slightly pointed out, which creates more contractions and more stability on one side versus the other. And sadly, there isn't much we can do about this because this is just part of our day-to-day -day life. And the only way to avoid falling into a bad posture like this is to constantly change up our posture every 30 minutes or so. 
But you see, that's exactly what happened to your duck feet in the first place. Over years and years and years of you just standing with your feet out, having your knees buckled in while you're sitting down, or walking with your feet out, or any kind of situation like this, that is going to lead to those muscles wanting to contract that pull your legs out and in turn end up with duck feet when you get older. This is why you need to start focusing on improving the way you sit. For example, having your knees in a neutral position instead of having them buckled in or even have them out. Or even when you walk, try to walk in with your foot going straight as opposed to outwards or inwards. You see, the same reason why you stop losing weight a week or two into a diet is the same reason how you end up with duck feet in the first place. It's because the body's trying to reserve energy one way or another. And in this case, it's trying to make those actions easier to get to since you're constantly in those actions. This is why after you're done releasing out the muscles in those tight fascia lines and strengthening up those weaker muscles in order to keep your feet in a neutral position, you have to practice good posture etiquette by walking with your feet straight or at least mostly straight and making sure you're sitting with good posture as well with your hips level and your knees parallel with each other if you want to learn more about your posture and different ways to improve it make sure to watch the video up in the top corner other than that i'll see you in the next one